Project management, I'd say 80% of it is communication. Uh, having that um, open communication and dialogue with your client um, is, is absolutely essential. Um, you know, to know their finishing decisions, that's an easy thing to do. You order it, it shows up, that's it. It's more the communication with homeowners because going into a renovation, there's so many home and garden television shows that fear is on their mind. Uh, what homeowners, you know, I stress to them is that we're on their team. We're, we have to work together. We need them for decisions and they need us to do the work. That's a team. You know, same with the architects, same with the um, building inspectors. They're on our team to get them a better product. If he's got all the credentials and all the background of the BBB, the Home Builders Association memberships, uh, awards, he's been in the industry a long time, those are basics that they should ask for. But I think what it comes down to is personal relationships and communication and can you communicate with your contractor or your project manager. That is key to making a successful project. Well, what's exciting to me is that, you know, the homeowners spend a lot of time planning and they're, they're anxious about that, that first day of demolition. And anxiety is kind of up here. Um, then all of a sudden, the demolition happens and they go, oh my God, what did we just do? You know, then all of a sudden they settle down, you know, demolition's cleaned up, site starts looking clean, but their house is still like an open heart surgery. And then when it starts going along a bit and they're going through the rough end stage and then all of a sudden they get anxiety and going, we're out of our normal routines, uh, I can't function, uh, you know, there's noise in the house, uh, and they start to get anxiety at drywall stage again. And at that stage is another time. Sit down, talk with the clients, hey, what are your concerns, let's answer them, and then move forward. But they've got to know that we're always on top of the schedule. We're always on top of their budget on a weekly basis. So keeping them informed on a financial and as well as a schedule basis helps that, I guess, that anxiety level really lower and, and makes them feel that, that trust and, and, and strong communication between us and them. Top three things are see if you've got a friend or a relative or a neighbor that's had a success with the contractor. Okay, that's the first one. At least you know it got some history. Okay, and you've seen the work. Maybe you've been inside their house. Second thing is uh, checking some references, past references of similar similar types types of, of jobs. Third thing is maybe go to their sites. Fourth thing is probably you can go online and check their WCB account, see if they're paid up, uh, making sure they have liability insurance. Uh, those types of things, you know, making sure there's also a contract, you know, a written contract down. And a lot of the terms and conditions that can happen in a renovation uh, are dealt with ahead of time because otherwise you get to that point and you don't know what to do. The more detail you can get down in a contract ahead of time, the less chance of pointing fingers and gray areas, you know, it's going to a higher chance of success.